Today's video is about how to fix a crooked canter. And first of all, a lot of horses, their natural way of going, like if you're just cantering down the rail, is that they'll naturally want to have their hips to the inside. The reason for this is because a horse's shoulders are narrower than their hips. So if their outside front leg and their outside hind leg are perfectly on the rail, it's going to appear like their hips are to the inside. The other reason that horses push their hips to the inside in the canter is that it makes it easier for them. So they can unload the hind leg, they can go on the forehand when they push their hips to the inside. So that's why horses do it. Um, it's a process to get your horse to get straighter in the canter, but I'm gonna give you some tips today to work on that. So be sure to check out the links below. So get on my email list if you're not, and I'm gonna send you free tips to help you with your training. So be sure to join my email list and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Let me know in the comments if your horse is crooked in the canter. So a couple of things uh, to consider. The first thing to consider is that whenever you're cantering and you try to move your horse to the side, it's difficult and your horse may get off balance. So a lot of the time, what I recommend to people is that try to fix the crookedness in the trot. So probably the most common crookedness is that horses lean into the right and maybe carry their hips to the right, but in general, just kind of lean into the right in the right lead canter. So for example, let me just pick up a good canter here. So a lot of times what happens with these horses is when you're going to the right, they'll start looking to the outside and just kind of fall more and more to the inside and you just cannot get the horse straight and standing up off your right leg. She thinks I want a flying change. So if you can't fix it at the canter, go back to the trot and leg yield your horse off of that right leg at the trot like so. So like really make your point at the trot, get your horse off that inside leg, get your horse feeling straight, and then go back up to the canter and maintain that alignment and that straightness. If you lose it and your horse just gets so crooked and there's no way to fix it at the canter, then it's really important to go back to the trot or even the walk and just get your horse better listening to your right leg. So that's probably the most important tip is that if you really are having trouble with your horse being super crooked at the canter, go back and fix it at the trot. Now, if you feel like, okay, you know, my horse understands my legs and I can keep them pretty straight at the trot, but when I go to the canter, they just go super crooked. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit of a leg yield at the canter. A lot of times what happens is that, like when you're right on the rail here and you're trying to make your horse straight, they get a little claustrophobic about the rail being there. So what I found is really helpful is you're just gonna turn up the quarter line just a little early and then you're just gonna ride a little bit of a leg yield off of your inside leg. A couple of things that are really important, be sure your inside leg stays forward at the girth as you push your horse over. Because if you bring your inside leg back, your horse is going to think that you want a flying change. So again, I'm just turning a little early. I'm really sitting on my inside seat bone. I'm moving my horse over to the rail. And then when I get to the rail, I'm riding just that little bit of shoulder four on the rail here. So that's a really good exercise to just practice mobilizing your horse's inside leg. And especially if you have a horse that likes to lean to the inside, this exercise can really help to just align like that right hind leg. It's also really important when you do this. So a lot of times what happens, especially in the right lead canter, the horse starts leaning in 
and the rider starts leaning over here to the left. So whenever I'm on the right lead canter, I'm really thinking about sitting on my right seat bone so that I can push my horse's right hind leg underneath of them. You never wanna lean over to the side to try to counteract that. So another great exercise besides the leg yield is counter canter. So when you counter canter your horse and the rail is now on her right hind leg, she can no longer push her hips to the right in the right lead canter. So by doing the counter canter and putting her on the rail, I'm basically just using the wall to help keep my horse straight. And again, I'm sitting on my right side and I'm keeping my right leg long. So let me show you the same exercises on the left side. It's normal that horses wanna be haunches in in both directions, like on both the left and the right lead because of what I talked about at the beginning of the video, because of the anatomy of the horse and because like when I'm making her straight here, like when I'm riding her in this shoulder four, she's really having to jump up and under through with her inside hind leg. And that's hard because it forces her to engage that inside hind leg and really use her top line and really use her body. So again, it's really important when you're doing this leg yield to keep your legs in the correct position. So I'm making sure that even as I'm pushing her over, I have my left leg at the girth and my right leg is behind the girth as I'm moving her over. So left leg at the girth, right leg behind the girth as I'm pushing her over. Good girl, shoulder four. When I get to the rail, really thinking about kind of keeping the outside shoulder just a little off the rail. And then the other exercise for straightening is doing the counter canter where I'm using the rail, putting the rail on her left side so she can't put her hips to the left. And even here in the counter canter, I'm, I'm riding shoulder four left. I'm not riding shoulder four right because I'm in left lead canter. So I'm working on the straightness with the rail on her side, riding her in shoulder four left. Now, if I was going to do a flying change, then I would straighten her and put her in shoulder four right and then ride the flying change. Just to be clear about that. Good girl. And it's always important, like whenever you're straightening your horse, get them straight and then get them to relax and be able to give in the straightness. You never want to be holding your horse in that straightness. So get them aligned, get them straight, and then make sure that you can soften, especially on the inside rein. Good girl. So I hope this video was helpful to help you think about getting your horse straight. It's always important too, whenever you're working on straightness, keep going back to the basics. Like get your horse more in front of the leg in the canter. Get your horse more supple in the canter. Maybe try a few of these little leg yields. And then if your horse isn't listening, go back to the trot and do a few leg yields. Keep breaking it down because it's honestly one of the hardest things to really get your horse straight in the canter. So be sure you can do it really at the trot that your horse is really through and supple. And then little by little, the canter will get better. So hopefully this video is helpful. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and let us know if this helped you. The end.